there are a lot of rumors out there in regards to the EV company Canoe. It's suggested that Apple Car Project stands to benefit from the downfall of EV startup Canoe. So let's try to understand what's going on here. This rumor that Apple could be considering purchasing the company that's known as Canoe. Now in an article written by Bloomberg, we want to try to understand why there's this rumor going around that Apple could buy Canoe, why Apple is in a position that they could benefit from this purchase. Now it says here, Apple could take a look at a struggling electric vehicle startup named Canoe to help it build up its car project. Also Apple is preparing to switch the iPhone connector from Lightning to USB-C. Google launches a slur of new hardware and of course RIP to the iPod. Now Apple's future electric car will be no different but some of the underlying work needed for autonomous driving and machine learning has to come from the company's artificial intelligence deal over the past several years. So in 2019 Apple purchase, so in 2019 Apple purchases drive.ai to bring in autonomous vehicle experts. Some of the engineers and managers acquired in that deal are now the central part of the company's work on car operating system and self-driving technology or rather software. So in recent months, Apple also hired several people from the auto industry to help ramp up its car development work after top management left the project. It's recruited key people from Ford, Rivian, Tesla, BMW, Mercedes, Volvo, Waymo, and some other brands. Now a potential acquisition target has emerged that could help Apple's project even more, that is to acquire Canoe. The EV startup founded five years ago has been struggling quite a lot. Last week it warned investors that it may not have enough cash to keep operating the company. Canoe has lined up additional funding, but it also said that it's doubt it can produce as many vehicles this year as planned. Given those struggles, seeking a buyer might be Canoe's best bet. And that's where Apple comes in. Such a deal wouldn't be unprecedented for the iPhone maker. Its Drive.ai takeover came in together with a similar fashion. It also wouldn't be difficult for Apple and Canoe to start talking. Canoe's former chief executive officer, Ulrich Krantz, is now one of the top executives on Apple's car project. Apple also has some of the former Canoe engineers on staff as well. And two companies have held talks before. They discuss ideas ranging from investments to acquisition back in 2020. So those unfamiliar, the EV startup has developed a underlining car platform that can be applied to different types of vehicles. Its lineup include a delivery vehicle and a pickup truck. But for Apple's purposes, Canoe's most interesting product is its lifestyle vehicle. Canoe has aimed to launch the lifestyle vehicle at the end of 2022 for under $40,000. The car looks a bit like a minivan, but it has Loomis sign like rear seating. People working on Apple car projects say some of their own designs are similar to what Canoe has developed. A person close to both Apple and Canoe warned that Apple probably wouldn't want to start up online in technology, but that is engine <clears throat> but that is engineering talent could be an asset. Canoe has employees with expertise in car interior and exterior software, innovative manufacturing, drivetrains, battery technology, and other vehicle components. Apple has big ambitions for its vehicles. It's aiming to produce a vehicle with a full self-driving capability with no steering wheel or pedals. People with knowledge of the Apple project doubt that the company is currently on track to hit that goal, but even a less groundbreaking vehicle could still be ahead. Imagine an Apple design car with a roomy interior deep integrated with other products and limited autonomous features on par with a Tesla. I mean that is a long way off but of course long term if Apple is truly hoping to compete in the EV market with electric cars, Tesla's got to be on their radar, Tesla's got to be their long term objective. Canoe is suing investors with China ties so we're really trying to understand what this is. So Canoe Inc. accused its second largest shareholder of wrongfully benefiting from the recent share sales and is trying in a lawsuit to claw back those profits. The EV startup says that DD Global Holding Ltd, a global Cayman Island firm, 
should pay back more than 61 million in so-called short swing profits. According to complaints filed on Monday in federal court in Manhattan, the beneficial owner of DD Global Holding is Pak Tam Lee, who has run a large investment firm in China called Beijing Zod. So he's reportedly the son-in-law of Jia Quinlin, who was once the fourth most senior leader in China. Li is one of the three original investors who helped Canoe get off the ground in 2017, back when it was a private company known as Electricity. He held more than 26% of the Canoe shares through DD and other affiliates after the startup merged with a SPAC in late 2022. Now Li's ownership stake was significant enough that and DD Global Holdings enter into a nation security agreement with the commitment with the Committee of Foreign Investment in the United States at the time of the merger. That agreement stated that DD Global is that agreement stated that DD Global is supposed to own 10% or less of Canoe by February 28, 2020, or transfer all of its shares to a vote in trust. So DD Global agreed in October 2021 to sell 53.6 shares, 53.6 million shares to an LLC managed by Canoe's chairman and chief executive officer Anthony Equala. Canoe's stock price is nearly doubled by the time the sale was slated to close in November. Though the two-sided agreement only transferred 35.3 million to Aquila LLC. So that's quite interesting. DD Global still own 18.5% of Canoe after the sale in March 2022 it unlocked 10.5 million additional shares, though this time it's Bank J Safra Sarensin AG on the behalf of the unidentified buyer, Aquila is now Canoe's largest shareholder. So Canoe alleged its complaint that at the same time of March transaction, DD Global acquired same number of shares through an equity swap transaction. As part of the lawsuit, Canoe is trying to uncover the unidentified buyer of the shares sold in March, as well as any additional transactions that have been reported by DD Global. Canoe also claimed that in the suit that DD Global held more than 10% of the company's shares following the March transaction, meaning it could be in violation of the National Security Agreement. The company's share rose 3.6% in early trading hours of 7.45 in New York time at the time. The stock has lost more than half its value since the beginning of the year, however. That's quite significant. So we've got a possibly approach from Apple, maybe a conversation between Canoe and Apple and Canoe is struggling to find funding. That's quite interesting. But I do hope you've enjoyed this video. Leave a comment, subscribe, leave a like, and of course, I will see you in my next video.